everyone. Today I'm going to be um, working on a drawing that I started and you can probably see the faint outlines of a stag. I'm going to be adding some other bits to him but um, I know I have done a, a stag before in one of my earlier videos way back when I started my channel I actually had a stag drawing that I was painting uh, to music um, but I don't think it was very relaxing it was more just me drawing with music on so I thought I would revisit this idea and maybe add to it a little so today I'm using a B pencil and a 2B. I'll probably switch to H at some point um, when I want to start doing more detail. But for now, I'm just going to stick with this little fella. you can hear any extra noise or sounds on this video, um, I do apologise, um, but I've actually got my laptop sat right next to me and it's um, got a game open at the moment. Uh, <laughs> this is going to sound really silly, but um, I am waiting for a rare monster to pop up and I'm actually waiting with about 40 other people crazy I know but we've been waiting here for about 12 hours now and um, it may sound crazy but the reason we're all waiting in this one area is for this monster and when he eventually spawns um, we all get some really nice um, like loot from him like treasure so he's definitely worth waiting around for but it just means I have to keep my laptop on and open so hopefully you can't hear too many extra noises actually I might turn it down a little bit just in case disturbed. So this is going to be a black and white piece to begin with and um, when he's finished I'm going to do some colour around him like a border I guess. I'm actually using um, acrylic painting paper today so that I can paint on him after, uh, after I finish the outlines. area around his eye like so
at this stage, I like to keep everything a bit rough and just put in some sort of rough guidelines as to where I want things. So, uh, what is it here? Around here, like this. Give him some fur. Inside the ear, like so. Everybody's being noisy on my computer. I love using B pencils, um, although uh, I know a lot of you are used to um, me working with HB pencils or uh, my mechanical pencils which are actually a H setting, so they're a lot harder than these ones. But they're very, these are very good for um, drawing on this kind of paper, whereas the mechanical pencils can sometimes be a little bit hard and you can't get the blending that you like. So they are good, um, but for this I think I'm going to stick with um, my regular pencils. to the head. moment. I'll just carry on with the antlers I think. I'll bring them up a bit more. Okay, so I'm going to do some outside shading I think. I'm not entirely happy with all the antler parts, so I might tweak those a little.
so I don't want those lines to be smooth because I want them to look very natural so it's all a little bit rough just like a tree trunk should I take this one? I think I'm going to split this one in two. That looks good. Let's take you up in this direction I think. Just like that. Okay. And let's just change that a little bit. It's actually really grey outside today. Um, I hope you can still all see okay. I'm actually starting to lose the light, so I might have to stop filming from this bit. I'll give it a few more minutes, but the sun is going behind um, some very dark clouds at the moment, so I might not have a lot of light left. And obviously I want you guys to be able to see, so I might have to finish filming this tomorrow. some texture. Let's just have a little little one come up there. Okay. done and I shall see you in the next segment um, when the lighting is a bit better. So now I have my antlers drawn in and shaded so I'm going to start working on this side and I think I'll start at the bottom using a base star for this one. Okay. When I eventually come down to drawing the face and finishing off the neck, I'm not going to put as much shading on it as I have on the antlers because um, I don't want to darken it out too much and I still want to be able to see the details in his face so so I'm just going to work out where the the dark areas are that I want to emphasize more. Okay. And 
shade around here in this little crease where his ear is. See the difficulty when you um, are left handed is <laughs> trying not to smudge your pencil lines. Also, when I'm recording, I'm sorry that my hand covers part of the page, but again, that's the problem with being uh, left-handed, I guess. So I apologise for that. So I've left the two horns in the middle. I'm actually going to redraw those because I want them a little bit bigger and a little bit more curved. So. Okay, so I'm just going to move up the antlers. I'm actually going to switch pencils. As I want the antlers to be more like trees, like I said before, I'm going to give them a rough outline and I'm going to start using some longer, thinner strokes to get that wood effect. deciding on what colour I want to make the background. Um, I'm not sure whether I want to make it a deep blue colour, um, for like the night time or a night sky, or whether I should go and paint it green and make it more foresty, um, like browns and yellows maybe, like my first my first drawing of a stag. I'm not sure. I'll make the decision when I uh, <laughs> when I come to it. in this area. Okay. Just gonna rub these out. in later. Carry these on up the top. If you can 
can tell, but the uh, the sun's actually out today for a change, so the lighting is a bit better for me. I prefer to use natural light when I'm uh, doing a drawing video, uh, simply because um, using the artificial lights in uh, the living room can sometimes give my videos uh, like an off yellow colour and you actually can't see um, what I'm drawing very well either um, the quality isn't as good so I prefer to draw by natural daylight whenever I can As it's uh, early January here in the UK, um, the sun's sort of going down at about uh, three, half three. So that's kind of my cutoff point for, for drawing, unfortunately. So that one's filled in nicely, and once these last few bits are done, I will move on and work on the face a little bit more, I think. really nice surprise yesterday morning um, I always check my YouTube channel as part of my morning ritual I uh, yeah like I say I always check it and I had a look and basically it said um, that I had uh, 395 subscribers and I actually nearly fell off my chair with excitement I just couldn't believe it it's it's just crazy um, I'm so happy um, it might not seem like a lot to some people but to me it's a really big deal I just, I don't know, it's just crazy. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, but it actually got me thinking about um, what I could do as a special thank you to you all. So I don't know if when I hit 400, um, if I will do a special video maybe. Um, or uh, I might try and wait and um, make it more of like a landmark, so like 500, if if I ever get to 500. Um, but I might just do one for when uh, we hit 400 anyway, just because I love you guys so much. So we'll see. just can't thank you all enough. It's just amazing. Um, like I say, uh, some people might not think that like 400 subscribers on YouTube is that brilliant, but um, to me it's amazing because that's 400 individual people that um, have decided to subscribe to me watch my videos and it means the world so um, I'm gonna have to start thinking about what I could um, make for you all uh, I could actually do another giveaway at some point I think that would be quite fun um, I had a lot of positive responses uh, 
from people about my last giveaway. So that might be cool. Okay. So I'm just going to switch to a H for this part um, where I'm adding the like fur in. in a bit. So I've decided um, that for the background I think I'm gonna go with a, like a bluey purple sort of night sky. Um, last night I actually thought about adding some extra bits to him so I might add some leaves to his antlers and make it really earthy and also I want to try and add like a ring of like a circle of like the moon phases around him maybe so we'll see but I thought it sounded cool so <laughs> you'll have to let me know when this video goes out if you think that's cool or not when you see the final product. So here I'm just adding tiny little lines around like his eyes and the jawline and stuff. just keeping it really faint um, but because um, stags and um, like deer but basically in general um, you don't really see a lot of long you don't see long haired ones so I'm trying to add um, some depth and texture in but not too much because um, they're not like long haired animals where you can sort of see lots of hair. Uh, I'm trying to keep this part like the band light as like the highlight. And I've already shaded it around his nose. But and I've also kept a band of white around his eye has like markings if you've ever looked closely at photographs of like deer and antelope and stuff like that they tend to have kind of patches I guess I love drawing woodland animals <laughs> starting to take shape now. I'm actually quite happy with him. It'll probably take me many, many hours to actually finish him off, but it'll be worth it when he's done. I should probably give him a name of some sort. you like you can name him in the comments section if you'd like to uh, post your ideas for names I think it's gonna be a he <laughs> so it's completely up to you shade his ear in a bit. Okay. 
So that's that bit. actually done some smudging here, if you can see, just slightly with my finger, uh, to give me a guideline as to where I'm going to be shading. And it's also good for creating shadow effects, so if there's a part you want to make darker, just draw lightly over it, and then pull your finger in the direction of the smudge, and you can see it creates some really nice shadows. So that's the head nearly done. I'll finish shading in the horns and then we can get down to colouring him in which would be fun. As you can see I've started colouring in the painting and I'm using blues and purples because uh, I wanted a sort of night sky tone to it. You also may have noticed that I've added some circles around him and these are the moon phases. So I'll be shading those in after I've finished the background. trying to create a uh, sort of sky effect in the background and I'm doing this by using a light blue wash over the background and then layering it up with uh, slightly darker uh, tones over the top to create this kind of misty effect. the end of the video. As always, I will um, take a picture and show you the finished product so you can actually see um, the details better and up close. So I'm just doing it again here. Um, I have my lightest bits Taking a bit of purple and in small circular motions I'm just pushing the paint onto the paper. Add a bit of blue to blend it out. sky blue I think to this bit there we go I like that and you get this nice crisp line blend it out again. Just picking up any areas I feel that need um, smoothing out a little.
making sure to not paint on top of my drawing. I think I might actually switch brushes at this point. in a brush, just trying to carefully go around all my branches. And over his nose. Making sure my brush is always some water on it so I can blend it out easier. I think I might need to add some white in there. some of that blue out. Let's see if I can try and put it into that area. There we go. There we go. Just drag it out there. Some more white. Oops, there we go. And drag it over. Again, making sure it blends with the other blue. There we go. Just going to add a bit more white down the bottom because um, this bit here is just starting to dry. So I'm going to add a little layer of white, so it looks like clouds. And at this stage I'm just using the uh, white neat, no water, so you get those nice crisp lines. There we go. Add some more down here. Nice wispy clouds. Lovely. Add some white. Okay, and I think I want to add some purple because I haven't added much purple at the top yet. Let's add a little bit there. And blend the two out. I might actually add some white to this, I think. There we go. Drag it through the corners. And out. I can see 
some bits down here that I haven't filled in. There we go, that's better. segment filled in. So I'm just going to carry on and fill in each little part bit by bit and get around to here. And I'm going to shade in my moons and we'll be pretty much finished. So I shall see you in a moment. And here he is. This is the finished image and I've painted in the uh, moon of phases and I've actually used colouring pencils to emphasise some of the clouds and colours but apart from that he is pretty much finished so I hope you all enjoyed this video and as always I will see you in my next one